Checkerboard patterns with black rectangles. Standard checkerboard patterns offer a single visual style and are poor at approximating shapes. For the logos of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics Games, Japanese artist Asao Takolo introduced checkerboard patterns made of exactly three kinds of rectangles. Remarkably, the two logos are made of the same numbers of rectangles, only put in different ways. The patterns are made by putting together three kinds of rhombi with the same edge length and different corner angles. Given a boundary, this is a tiling problem with the rhombic tiles. Based on finding matching pairs between boundary edges, Richard Kenyon demonstrated an algorithm for tiling a polygon with parallelograms. However, there is no control mechanism over the results. We propose an integer programming-based method to solve the tiling problem. Our method offers controls over the symmetries. Styles. And local features of the results. Our method supports triangle tiles as an option. This broadens the types of boundaries that can be tiled. The main challenge of the tiling problem is how to enumerate potential tile placements. Given a boundary, the possible locations of vertices in the Euclidean plane can be huge. As shown here, our main innovation is to take a linear projection such that many different Euclidean positions are mapped to a single one. This enabled us to enumerate potential tile placements very efficiently. Let's discuss how to generalize the patterns. We get a checkerboard pattern with black parallelograms by edge midpoint subdivision on any quad mesh. We call it the control mesh of the pattern. To make all black faces to become rectangles, that is, all corners are 90 degrees. We optimize the diagonals of the faces of the control mesh to be orthogonal to each other. In fact, a checkerboard pattern corresponds to a family of control meshes with the condition that they all have the same two diagonal meshes up to translation. With the two diagonal meshes fixed, we get a family of checkerboard patterns by interpolation between the two diagonal meshes. By treating two patterns as discrete surfaces, a discrete map between the two can be established. The mapping is discretely conformal if corresponding rectangles have the same aspect ratio. And the mapping is discretely isometric if corresponding rectangles are congruent. Mapping a planar domain in an isometric way generates patterns on developable surfaces. The numerical optimization can be done very efficiently. Here we show two selected results. Our algorithm also works for closed surfaces of arbitrary topology. However, when optimizing for black squares, shape changes may happen unless we have the topology of a disk or a sphere. For many applications such as architecture, it is very useful to also have planar white faces. It is achieved when the pattern and the two diagonal meshes are all planar quad meshes. Such patterns follow the principal curvature lines of a smooth underlying reference surface. The two diagonal meshes of the control mesh are a new form of discrete principal curvature parametrizations, with properties attractive for architecture. Neighboring vertex normals lie in a common plane, which enables the construction of torsion-free support structures. Thanks for watching.